Can you talk about the how the communities, the surrounding communities to where we are now, we're on Hood Canal, um, if there is an accident, an explosion at the base here, how are they notified uh, beyond seeing the explosion themselves? What, uh, what measures are there to protect the people that live nearby? Well, they're, they're not notified. Um, at the, like I say, at, at the two wars together, if there's missile handling at one time, um, it's 7.4 uh, million pounds of TNT if, if both submarines were to mass detonate. And the Navy seemed to have the foresight to know this because they bought land on the other side of Hood Canal that belongs to the Navy, that the, the explosive handling arc fits perfectly in that property. But it doesn't fit on the north side, and there, as a result of the lawsuit, there was a record released, and a guy said this actually recently, in the last couple of years, he said the base should have been 1.3 million, or excuse me, 1.3 miles longer uh, to handle all the explosives in here. So on the north end of the base, there's actually homes, I think it's something like 136 homes that are inside the explosive handling arc for these, these wars. Um, the Navy actually does not want the public to know about emergency uh, programs. Um, they, they filed a lawsuit. I did a public records request to uh, Kitsap County Department of Emergency Management and they were in the process of releasing records to me through the public records, State Public Records Act and the feds filed a lawsuit in federal court to, to stop that. In fact, the thing is still going. Um, this was, if I remember right, I think it was like January 2015, I think I filed a request. And I've done, you know, requests before, but this is like a new one. And the Navy, um, um, and it was the Department of Justice attorneys in Seattle uh, filed for an injunction. What we finally did, I mean, there was another reporter who was trying to get the same records, uh, Ed Friedrich, with the Kitsap Sun, and we, as a result of this um, attempt to get a, a permanent injunction, we both withdrew our requests, which made the, the court case moot. But they still I had to file uh, as, uh, I had to join the court case to fight that they dismissed the the case because I was afraid Kitsap County was going to make an agreement with the Navy. So anyway, short story that the public doesn't know. Um, there is, I do have a record that shows they're supposed to listen to a couple radio stations if there's an accident, but they never explain what what the issues are. You know, there's there's zones that are radiological uh, emergency zones. They don't, they never explain what would cause that, what you're supposed to, well actually in the records, there's two things you can do. You can shelter in place, which is, and you, I guess you're supposed to know you're supposed to have duct tape or something and duct tape up your doors and stuff. Or they'll tell you to leave immediately. But you have to listen to two radio stations and I would be surprised if the radio stations even know they're supposed to make these announcements. Um, and no one knows it anyway. Uh, one of the emergency uh, protective zones is there's an elementary school that's within the zone and I made a public records request to the school district if they knew anything about this, and they, they didn't. They, they didn't have any knowledge whatsoever that they were, you know, that they were in a protective zone, emergency, a radiological zone, potential radiological zone, or if there's something they're supposed to do if there's an accident. And that's, uh, it's, you know, it's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate that, uh, you know, civic leaders don't press um, for more information. Yeah. I mean, one example, the Department of Energy at the Pantex plant in Texas, um, in, near Amarillo, Texas, where they handle all the nuclear warheads, they have an, a, 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 you know, a detailed emergency response plan, and it's right on their website. If you go to their website, they have the areas around the plant broken down into zones, and they'll tell you which where to head out of town, basically. Um, and so they're, they're very clear about it, and they say that, you know, this is, 
all roads lead to Pantex is, is their motto, and they're talking about new girl weapons. Um, but the Navy is very different. The Department of Defense is very different. You know, they claim that it's national security, but it's, I, I don't think it is. Um, they just don't want the public to know what the threat is. They, 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 you know, the support from the community is so important to them.